Hey guys, how's it going out there today? I'm a, uh, man, it's a gorgeous day. A little bit breezy. You'll probably have some camera or some wind noise on the camera. Not much I can do about it at this point. Um, but we'll just make do the best we can. I'm back on this track, on this baler, right? This Massey, uh, Massey number 12 I'm trying to get back into operation. Um, had to take a step off, had, had some vacation time, and uh, had to get to actually use my other baler and get some hay put up for the winter. But I'm finally back at it. I was able to get a piece of angle iron to go in here, drill some holes in it, put a little cutout in it right there. You can see it's not quite the same cutout. I, I just, it's just not going to matter, right? That's just a cutout to go right about there or so. That just lets some debris fall out of this thing. It's, it's, it's not a critically dimensioned thing. And there's a couple other critical dimensions I messed up on, right? You can see these have a little cutout right there, a notch. My notch, uh, well, it, my angle grinder got away from me with the cutoff wheel. And that, that happens. And that's just to clear right here, right? But regardless, just a simple piece of 3 16 uh, 3 by 3 angle iron. Cut it down. Um, it should go in and just, it should just work, right? So Amazon had the, uh, couldn't find the bolts. There's a couple reasons why it took me so long to get this done. One is I couldn't find uh, the hardware, right? I needed just some um, countersink type screws and I was looking for the, the plow style which would have had a square to go in like those I couldn't really find those anywhere so I just went with just a standard uh, hex head or excuse me socket head Allen head I went with Allen head style drilled some holes in there those sit nice and low below the uh, below the rail I think I can just throw this thing in bolt it up I think we can toss the uh, top one back in, bolt it up, and maybe here, oh, take about a half hour and see if we can't get this thing, get the plunger back in it and uh, see what kind of shape we're in. We'll probably have to do some shimming. I haven't, don't have that part figured out yet. We'll just uh, step through that process as we go. But here we go. <laughs> If you remember, it might even be in this video, I don't I don't know, but I went ahead and added a lot of weld to this runner right here, and it's it's fairly smooth and it'll it'll uh, wear itself right into shape. But yeah, let's put the plunger back in. All right, a bit of a moment of truth here. Um, I had to use the hydraulic jack to uh, force the plunger back into position. Connected the uh, plunger to the flywheel, to all that mechanism. 
I'm going to clear some of this stuff out and try to cycle this flywheel. Now, I had to use this jack previously to get this uh, to get this uh, plunger back and forth a few times, and I actually feel pretty good about it this time because even though I was using a 12-ton jack, it was going a lot smoother than it was before. Previously, it would just jerk and pop every single motion that it would go under extreme tension and then pop this time i was able just to jack and just kind of force it back over back over and uh well we're going to see we're going to see i'll throw the uh, i'll throw a pry bar i'll throw that wrecking bar up in there and try to cycle this bad boy around and uh and well wish me luck i did go ahead Throw some grease on these lower runners just to give me a little bit extra. And I'm going to, let's see. Let's just see what happens when the, we try moving this flywheel in the appropriate direction. Oh my goodness, it's working. Oh yeah. All right. It's actually, guys, that's pretty smooth. I don't want to jinx myself. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, look at that. Little binding right there. I think that's just that bar. There we go. Get that bar pass there. That'll smooth right out. Ooh, that's that's rough. Let's make sure I'm not hitting anything. What am I running into here? Looks like the uh, we might actually be in good shape here, right? Because check this out. My needles are up in position where they're not supposed to be. I wonder if. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm gonna back it off and get these needles out of the way. Back it off and get these needles out of the way. But overall. I think we got it. I think that we've got this baler to the point that we'll be able to actually uh, get this thing to function as it's supposed to. So that's exciting news. Oof da. This has been a long journey so far, guys. And uh, I'm not quite done yet. I've got a lot more to do, a lot more tuning to do on it. But to get to this point where I can roll this plunger over. Um, that's pretty darn exciting. So, well, I think I'm going to call this a day. Been a beautiful day. You can see the sun's way down. I started this video a long time ago. And, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. So, you know, you, when you make a little bit of progress, we're at the point where I'm confident now that I can get this baler back together and and have it function as intended and uh and that's pretty exciting so i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching